The few, the proud, the Marines. Have you ever wondered what it's what it takes to become a Marine? Well, let's check back in with Sierra Pizarro, who is joining us now live from San Diego, California. And Sierra, good morning. What can you tell us about the Marine Corps Educators Workshop that you're attending there? Good morning. Yeah, I'm still wondering what it takes to become a, a Marine. Today is actually day one. We're going to get our day started in about a couple hours. For now, we are live in San Diego coming to you from our patio here at the Humphreys Half Moon Inn. Yeah, as you can see, it's still dark. We are two hours behind you all there in the Coastal Bend. So right now it's 342 in the morning. And despite this early hour, we are ready to get our day started, which begins at six o'clock with breakfast. Then we get into the training. I want to show you exactly what we're about to get into today and the rest of this week with a look at, at some video of a past Marine Educators Workshop. Get for your damn lives, aye, aye, sir. Aye, sir. You're now aboard Recall Group Depot, Center California, but the 6 Saving Company. Let's go, let's go, let's go, hurry up. Let's go, hurry up. Let's go, hurry up. Let's go. You'll eat, sleep, drink, and live as a team. I don't think I've ever felt both scared and nervous and laughed at the same time. That video is kind of inaudible. You can't really understand too much what they're saying, but that is what I'm in for today. That's basically what Chris Six photojournalist Alexis Montalvo and I are in for. Again, our day starts at 6 a.m. with breakfast. Later on, we'll be taking a combat fitness test and we'll go through a recruiting brief brief. We actually got here in San Diego yesterday afternoon. Um, we hauled ourselves and 62 pounds of camera equipment from Corpus Christi International Airport. It took two planes to get over here. It was a beautiful day to fly. According to Alexis, I was knocked out on the plane um, and we did not make this journey alone. Let me tell you, there are about 20 other people here with us. All of them are Texans. Uh, one of them or two of them are from the coastal bend. One is a college and career specialist from CCISD. Her name is Melanie. The other, an early college advisor for Riviera ISD. He is Elias Arredondo. I'm excited about it. I'm excited about, you know, as a, as a veteran, I am prior military, uh, not in the Marine Corps, however, I was with the Army, but I'm excited about the opportunity to, to gain knowledge that helps me answer questions for my students. Yeah, Arredondo understands that students might have a hard time maybe nailing a job after high school or figuring out what comes next. Maybe they realize college just isn't for them at that moment and the military or the Marines might serve as a backup. 